So the second one which we are going to talk is about Nutrabol which is also known as Ibutamorin and in the market it has a, a number called MK677. So how does Nutrabol act? In our body we have a receptor called growth hormone secretagogue receptors. So we have a hormone secreted by our stomach called ghrelin. So this ghrelin grows and acts on these growth hormone secretagogue receptors and it increases the stimulation and the release of growth hormone as well as the insulin like growth factor 1. So what does Nutribol do? It mimics the action of ghrelin. So it goes and binds to those growth hormone secretagogue receptors and releases the stimulation and stimulates and releases the growth hormone as well as the insulin like growth factors. So what happens here with Nutribol? So if you take muscles, it increases the lean muscle mass because it stimulates the release of growth hormone and insulin like growth factors. So it increases the muscle mass, the strength as well as the uh, endurance as well. Here a study has been done where 24 obese men have been tested with Nutribol and it has, uh, as at the end of the research, it has increased their lean muscle mass and transiently it has increased their basic metabolic rate. So it has reduces the muscle wasting as well. So a study has done on healthy people where it reverses the protein catabolism. So if you take bone, it increases the bone mineralization. So it has been treated uh, for elderly as well as women who have attained menopause. So it, uh, the other thing that Nutribol does, it improves the sleep. So a study has been done on younger people as well as elderly people. So if you take our growth hormone levels, normally after a certain age, our growth hormone level starts to fall. But here, as it acts on the growth hormone secretagogue receptors, there will be a stimulation and the release of growth hormone. So it helps actually fighting aging as well. In uh, pediatrics or as in children uh, medicine, what we normally do is people who have been diagnosed with growth hormone deficiency, this Nutribol or as Ibutamorin has been used to treat uh, children with growth hormone deficiency. And a good thing about this growth hormone, uh, treating growth hormone deficiencies, it does not uh, interact with the other human hormone profiles like thyroxine, prolactin, and cortisol or insulin levels as well. So normally, uh, as it increases the release of insulin-like growth factor one, insulin-like growth factor one has been uh, improving the cognition and memory. But there has been no proven researchers saying that Nutribol will improve uh, cognitive and uh, memory but there can be an indirect effect on cognitive and memory. So if you take overall Nutribol, if you take the side effects, first thing it's not FDA approved and there has been an increased risk of diabetes and increased risk of insulin resistance and there have been uh, muscle pain, swellings and it increases the heart blood pressure and it can lead to heart failure as well. So if you are going to take Nutribol, normally 15 to 20 milligram per day is the dosage and normally if you are going to take 20 milligram, you have to take it as one dose, as a single dose or else you can go and split it into two and you can have to take it at the consistent time like morning, night, the same time. So normally you have to take it for like 8 to 12 weeks and the important thing is no PCT required but, but it is advisable.